Cyber attacks on power utilities are no longer a distant threat. They're happening now, targeting the very infrastructure that keeps our lights on. Protecting the grid isn't just about technology, it's about staying one step ahead of attackers who are constantly evolving. This is Powering the Future, a podcast series brought to you by Smart Grid Forums. One planet, one power grid. Joining us today is Anton de Hossi, Head of OT Practice for EMEA at Fortinet. Anton works closely with utilities across the region to strengthen their resilience against cyber threats and he's here to share insights into how the sector is defending itself and what comes next. Hi Anton, thank you so much for joining us on the podcast today. Great to have you. Hi Mandana, great to have you too. So Anton, before we get started on this conversation, it would be great to know um, about your role at Fortinet, what your responsibilities and your priorities are right now. Sure, I mean, I'm looking after uh, Fortinet OT cybersecurity platform for Europe, Middle East and, uh, and Africa. And um, I would say my priority together with the team and and Fortinet is to make sure that we support critical infrastructures in order to have a simple uh, cyber security management that address their defense in depth uh, needs. Great. Okay. So how is Fortinet currently helping utilities build up their resilience through OTIT uh, Converge Solutions? So... uh, Power utilities under enormous pressure today. They must um, modernize uh, fast to uh, integrate renewable energy, uh, comply with regulation, and defend against uh, more cyber threats. All of these with limited teams. And it's uh, important to say it clearly, uh, the greatest risks today are in OT environment, less in IT. That's also where the shortage of skilled cybersecurity professionals is the most important. And our approach at Fortinet is to make things simpler and more manageable. Utilities cannot afford to manage dozens of different tools in in order to achieve a, a solid defense in depth. That's why our security fabric is designed around a, a single OS approach uh, with consistent security controls across IT, OT, wireless, and the sovereign cloud. And this starts uh, with visibility, identifying and classifying your key assets from uh, control room systems to a substation to edge device like EV chargers. Uh, Then we enable segmentation and zero trust design. OT zones are isolated least privilege enforced and lateral movements are either blocked or strictly controlled. Crucially, everything is orchestrated through manager and analyzer, which gives utilities a single pane of glass for management, visibility, and compliance reporting. So this reduces operational complexity and also lower the cost. So resilience for us is about more than just strong security. It's about operational efficiency, cost effectiveness, and simplicity, because utilities don't have infinite resources. And by unifying controls, we we let operators focus on what matters really the most, which is keeping the power flowing. Right, okay. Um, Can you give us an example of a recent success in the field, how you've supported utilities really push the boundaries of their cybersecurity? Sure. I mean, we we get involved in hundreds of critical infrastructure deployment globally, and and many of which are in power transmission and distribution. And I can definitely uh, uh, share a few. Uh, Very recently in South America, we uh, supported a high voltage transmission operator with over 1600 kilometers of line and their environment included a decade old device and multi-vendor ecosystem it's very common in um, in transmission and they needed to adopt a zero trust security model across their substation with next gen firewall a redundant secure sd1 and 61850 specific d packet inspection and ips signatures and this allowed them to uh, simplify management, 
automate resilience with efficiency, even with legacy OT by putting this zero trust and central visibility in place. Also recently um, in South Europe, um, at a renewable generator and a distributor utility, they needed to converge IT and OT while meeting new EU regulations such as NIS2 and moving workloads uh, into the cloud. Um, so they built a cloud-based secure access app for contractors combined with secure SD-1 and centralized management. And this made contractor operations safer as well as getting a simplified administration across more than 1,000 districts. It's particularly relevant after the um, recent blackout in Spain. Uh, that outage wasn't uh, cyber driven, but it reminded us how complex distributed grids need secure, well-orchestrated digital infrastructures to avoid any instability. Maybe another one, again, in South Europe, this time a, a smaller cooperative distributor with very limited resources. They needed to replace their entire network and security stack in three months without disruptions. They deployed high availability firewalls, endpoint protection, and SOC as a service. What is impressive is not only the speed, but also the fact that they gain end-to-end -end visibility and automation in, um, in a fraction of the cost of running a, a large in-house SOC. So for smaller DSOs, it shows that integrated platform can deliver enterprise-grade security without having big teams that look after those. And I would say that what is common across this um, these example is that secure networking integration drives compliance, resilience, and efficiency. It reduces cost, reduces human workload, and raises the, the security baseline. Well, that's fantastic, especially at a time when I think many utilities are facing the skills shortage. Um, so with this increased complexity, Anton, in the grid, what are your predictions for the next wave of OT cybersecurity challenges that utilities are likely to face? And how can utilities prepare? What sort of solutions will they need? I mean, looking forward, the uh, bigger shifts are happening at the uh, grid edge and in the control room. At the edge, utility now have to secure thousands of distributed energy resources or DRs and EV charging station instead of just having a few hundreds of station. Every EV charger, every solar inverters is another endpoint. If not segmented and monitored, these can become the weak leaks. Again, the recent blackout in Spain showed how fragile distributed renewable heavy grids can be. Uh, that wasn't a cyber event, but it really highlights why simplicity automation and centralized control are really essential for, for stability. Now, in the control room, the challenge is people. Utilities don't have large cybersecurity teams and OT talents in particular is scarce. That's why manageability is so critical. Again, a single OS architecture or platform with tools like managers and analyzer allow fewer people to secure more assets. AI and SOC automation also help reduce the noise. So operators can focus on the few alerts that really matter to them. And I would say that finally, across the ecosystem, utilities are moving to cloud-enabled smart grids. Use cases like digital twin, SCADA in the cloud, or smart meter data lakes. Uh, this requires architecture that are both sovereign and compliant. And our job is to make sure that the same policies applies consistently across the substation, the control center, and the cloud. So the, the reason is clear. I would say more endpoints, more data, and more regulation. And to face that, utility needs the right security technology evolution that is simple to manage, efficient to run, 
and uh, automated by design with the right AI for the SecOps operations. That's fantastic. Um, so Anton, I'm delighted to say that Fortinet are the platinum sponsor of SGT26 in Paris. And this will be the second year, I think, that you're on board with us as platinum, though you've been part of the event for many years. Um, you're going to be extensively involved in the event. You're going to be chairing the plenary session, speaking during um, that day, running live demo labs um, present in the exhibition and so on. Tell us a little bit about what you're planning to share at the event and what utilities can expect to see from your team there. Yes, Mandana, we are uh, really honored uh, to chair and sponsor our Smart Grid Tech Week in Paris uh, next year and find this absolutely uh, outstanding collaboration among utilities, digital service provider, system integrators and, and vendors. Collaboration is absolutely uh, critical in such event on a full week. And for us, this is not about showing boxes. It's about helping the community find practical answers. So in the uh, plenary stage, I will be chairing sessions in uh, IT, OT, cloud and wireless convergence how to modernize securely while keeping the grid stable. We'll also participate to roundtables where operators can exchange real experience, securing substation, managing DER, meeting needs to requirements, or operating SOCs with limited staff. These conversations are invaluable because they surface lessons that no vendor can invent. In our demo labs, we'll uh, make it tangible, showing how a single management console can monitor substation, EV chargers, and cloud workloads, um, demonstrating zero trust and segmentation with control in an OT environment, and showing how Automation can reduce human workload at the SOC level. And finally, at the um, exhibition, our OT expert will be available for open dialogue. Our role is to listen as much as to speak and to share best practices from across Europe and the world. And the message I would say is simple. Utilities are the backbones of society um, to keep them resilient security has to be simple, manageable and efficient so that even small teams can protect very large infrastructure. That's what, what will bring uh, to Paris. It's my hometown. Um, it is, yeah. It's going to be <laughs> stories, demonstration and, and tech platform approach that puts uh, people and processes first. So really uh, looking forward to it, Mandana. Fantastic. We're really looking forward to having you back, Anton, um, and the Fortinet team. Thank you so much for your insights today, and we look forward to seeing you in March in Paris next year. Thank you so much. See you soon. That was Anton de Hossi of Fortinet talking about the importance of collaboration, not only among utilities, but also with suppliers to ensure the safety and efficiency of the power grid. At SGT26 in Paris, we're making this collaboration happen. The goal is to come together, share insights and come up with innovative solutions that will keep us ahead of the threat. Join us again next week as we unpack another big topic shaping the future of the power grid. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Smart Grid Forums, and to follow us on LinkedIn. Until then, thanks for watching and listening. This is Powering the Future, a podcast series brought to you by Smart Grid Forums. One planet, one power grid.